Ayan, good morning everyone. Magandang umaga po. Ah, uh, today is gonna be a... Medyo short lang tayo ngayon. Oh, wala ko mahanap gaano ng mga position sa stock market eh. Uh, especially sa PSE. Um, medyo ma- downturn pa yung iba. Yung iba naman uh, medyo mataas na. So right now, um, it's this time of year na hindi ako gaano ag- uh, aggressive sa stock market pag ganito. Um, so, dalawa lang na hanap kong position. Um, yun, uh, we're gonna be talk- talking about that today. So, it most probably is gonna be a short, ano, uh, short video. Um, uh, I wanna say, say na, yeah, it's not a very good day for me today. My grandma just died today. So, pupuntahan ka po, po siya ngayon. So, I wanna dedicate this episode uh, to my grandmother. Thank you so much for everything. And so, rest in peace po. Um, anyways, um, ayun, tuloy pa rin tayo. Uh, I'll be, I'm gonna be reading the comments first. And um, uh, a little request from my end. Uh, um, tawag dyan? Medyo absent-minded ako. Um, please share the video. share pa ang video uh, to your Facebook walls and to your trading groups para naman po uh, mas marami pa po newbies ang magabayan natin um, also your friends will be what they call this will be um, interested in stock market kasi pinakamalaking um, uh, what they call this pinakamalaking harang kasi sa, uh, sa tao para pumasok sa stock market they don't know what they're doing so if they know that there's a program like this that's gonna be guiding them every day um, at least ma most probably they will be inspired to get in the stock market kahit isang Pilipino at a time matulungan natin that will be a very good, great help for the goal of financial freedom 101 so yeah good morning everyone good morning to my daughter Laika and Joel Igaris good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika right uh, Mike or Mike Mikoy good vibes good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika um Mikoy, good morning. Mary Grace, talo. Good morning po. Insights nyo po kay Vol and PIP. I'll write that down, Mary Grace. And po. Um, if you have any requests, uh, yung gusto nyo po i-chart natin ngayon, uh, please post it on the comments para po madaanan natin. Nico Managa, good morning. Um, Alvin Rabanes, morning. Insights po kay Didi, Bloom, at ATN po. Salamat po. Si ATN po pull back pa or you're just waiting for ATN to bounce for another entry point. And just keep buying the dips kay ATN. Yeah, that's very good for long term si ATN po. Yan. So, Enrico Costuna, morning. Um... Uh, good morning sir, paano po mag-fund ng eToro account using credit card? Right, so eToro Right, so just to answer this question Oh nga pala guys, I opened a position yesterday uh, It's 888 hold, Holdings Right, uh, bakit ko po siya in-open? Um, the fundamentals of the company is getting better, right? Um, bumagsak ito eh kasi medyo negative yung earnings nila the past few years but right now they're recovering already and we've we're seeing a very good bottom uh, mas safe po siya laruin ngayon nasa baba po siya um, kakabounce ng yesterday and we're already gaining um, we took advantage of the bounce um, meron tayong divergence dito and major divergence here at this level right here pababa yung presyo niya but RSI is starting to go up already this means that um, a little lesson about RSI RSI is a momentum indicator kasi. So, if you see RSI going up, that means konti na lang ang nagbebenta and mas marami na po ang bumibili pa ganyan. So, it's starting to gain momentum. So, this is much healthier. Um, mas, mas maganda ang presyo, mas konti ang nagbebenta dito and mas maraming bumibili at this price right here. So, I entered the position with around um, 10% of our uh, of our funds. So most probably pumasok na rin yung um, 10% ng funds niyo. Hopefully this go- this works well works out well. Very good bottom, very good support we just found out yesterday. Um so kasama ko po si Michael ang um naghanap nitong stock na ito. So thank you so much Michael. So we opened a position for this. Um for copy trading, guys, um if you haven't created an eToro account yet, there's a way for me to be handling your funds instead. Ako na po ang magte-trade sa inyo. Kasi alam ko po, hindi naman tayo lahat marunong mag-trade. And most especially, wala tayong oras mag-trade tayong lahat. So ako, meron akong oras to spare for trading. Um, why not? 
ako na lang po ang mag-trade para sa inyo through copy trading. Check it out. It's a very good uh, it's a very good opportunity. Create an eToro account using my link lang po. Yun lang po hiling ko because that's gonna help me in return. Um, o nga pala, when you share the idea of copy trading to your friends, please give them my link also. Ganun po, right? Um, para po, um, hindi naman po sayang yung referral, right? Um, yan, uh, may question kanina, how do you add funds? Just um, on your dashboard, just click here. Ito sa baba, lower left side, deposit funds. And then lalabas po dyan yung payment method nyo. Or you want to change it, um, new credit card, PayPal, or transfer, union pay, Skrill, Natal, or more. I will recommend a credit card pinakamabilis po. Meron pong process si, uh, ano, si BPI po. Meron po, kung wala po yung credit card, may madaling credit card po, prepaid credit card. Um, BPI has one. Um, I don't know with other bank. Just check them out. Um, prepaid credit cards po. Um, yun po yung credit card siya. It's counted as credit card, pero zero balance po yan. Hindi kayong pwede umutang dyan. Pwede nyo po lagyan ng pera para meron kayong credits. Right? And then, ipasok nyo po dito. So, mas madali po din po yun. So, sa mga walang credit card, check out BPI's uh, prepaid credit card. So, that's how you uh, how, that's how you basically deposit funds uh, kay Itoro. So, ayun. Um, just a little up, update sa ano natin. We have around one hundred and sixty-one thousand dollars under me na funds already, so that's around more than eight million. Um, papunta na nine million yata to eh, right? One hundred sixty-one thousand. How much is that? Um, one six one one times fifty-two. Yeah, eight point three million. So, yan. So, yun po yung fans na hawak natin ngayon. Um, those who are copying me, uh, may iba mga nakaka-copy lang. Uh, we have around 259 copiers already. Um, port natin somehow is doing good already when we entered it. So, kakaakyat lang po. Hindi po po nag-1% yung mga positions. So, sa, um, take this opportunity. Uh, you can fund now and kumopya po sa akin habang mababa pa yung mga position natin. Right? Um... Ano pa ba? Uh, o nga pala, guys, si ano si Lyft mag-IPO today. Today is Thursday, right? So mag-IPO ngayon si Lyft. Um, it's valued around 20 billion already. So that's a big company. Um, bukas natin malalaman ang presyo niya. Monday maging available siya sa Itoro. If you believe in that company, I think it's going to be very good. It's the future of transportation kasi, eh, di ba? sila Uber, sila Grab, yung mga ganun. So, it's a good company. Siya yung pinaka-uso ngayon sa US. Uh, so, I think it's gonna be going bigger and bigger as a company. So, sayang naman po yung growth. This is the, your chance to take part. So, if ever gusto nyo pumasok kay Lyft, you can read about the company, yung mga findings ng mga anal uh, anal analysts about the company. If you wanna, if you think it's gonna grow even further, I, which I think it will be, um, time to fund your uh, your account. Um, minimum po dyan is five hundred dollars because it's just uh, kaka launch lang po niyan. So five hundred dollars po ay minimum entry kay Lyft. So time to top up your account, right? So ako rin papasok rin ako most probably maglaload ako this week. Yan. So yan. Um. John Cipriano, good day sa lahat, lalo kay Sir Lloyd, may power po, God bless sa family niyo po, happy training, thank you so much, King Bakay, hi coach, kumusta Laika, kumusta, hi coach, ano po nangyayari kay T, kahapon coach, pasilip naman po kay PA, Green, X, SEC, and so, basically guys, whenever a stock goes down, um, that's just normal, um, normal market movement kasi, it doesn't really mean na may nangyayari sa kanila, ganito, ganyan, the market will do what it wants to do, right? Um, si, tignan na si MPI, ang ganda ng kumpanya, pero hi hirap siya umakyat. Wala naman nangyayaring masama kay MPI. Um, it happens in the stock market. You just have to act accordingly, right? Um, it doesn't have to be stressful or anything. Um, if this, if, if the stock does this, you have to react accordingly. If you think it was gonna go up, then you entered, thus it went uh, the other way, and just cut your losses. Ganun lang. Simple as that po. Right? Hindi, no one can predict the market. Kahit po napakaganda ng kumpanya, pwede pa rin po yung bumagsak. Dave, gwa po, daddy, sa inyo nga. Sayo, Sir Lloyd, and like to my wife, Bunso. Dek, dek, good morning sa inyo. Mary Christina, Jean Salazar. Um, good morning. Taka lang muna, ha? Saba, B! And, so, Mary Christina, 
Good morning. Ay, halang bumaba yung comments. Ayan, Dave. Uh, morning, Sir Lloyd. From Mayor Christina. Meg and MBT. Metro Bank. Let me check them out. Right, Sir Lloyd, pasilip ng Lotto, ISM, and MRC. Si ISM nasa support ngayon eh. So, we're just waiting for ISM to bounce. If ever hindi siya mag-bounce, huwag mo dyan munang pasukin. Right? Um, let's check it out later. Eduardo Arcoy, morning, sir. Apo, please. Yan, si Apo. Teka lang, ha? Ano pa mo tayo? Alright, sorry, yung mga aso ko ang ingay. <laughs> Alright, Pablo Cordetta, condolence. Oh, thank you so much po. Uh, Mary Grace, thank you. Nico. Uh, Mike, 16. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. ano insights sa Bicor? May pag-asa po ba mag-reverse? Guys, huwag kayo ubasa. Alright, um, wala tayong mas... Hindi natin, ano yung, hindi natin maano yun eh. Um, fundamentally speaking, if the, if the company is fundamentally good, kumikita naman siya, maganda naman yung kita niya, maganda yung mga projects, um, by thought, yes, it should may pag-asang mag-bounce talaga as long as the company is doing well. It's just that um, ang sentiments kasi ng market, eh, we can't really control that. right? So, I don't want you to wish that it's gonna go up. Tingnan nyo si Web, bumagsak ng bumagsak even if the company is doing well lately na pag recover na sila, di ba? Um, pero bumagsak ng bumagsak. So, by, by thought, Yes, ako ipit ako kay Web. Alright, I've been into Web for long term sana. Kasi nung nag-operational na sila, bakit I've been hopeful for the company. The numbers are showing na gumaganda si Web. So nga lang yung mga investors um, lumalabas eh. So, you can't really say. Right? So, you just have to let the market do its thing. Right? Let the market will decide if it's gonna go up or not. If it doesn't go up, just react accordingly. Right? But if you're an investor, kung long term naman ang hawak niyo dyan, um, fundamentally speaking, they should go up. Hindi lang natin lang alam kailan or saan. Right? Pero kung company gan kasi na pangit ang ginagawa or pangit ang earnings, lumabas na kayo dyan kahit ipit kayo. Right? So, ganun lang. Um, Mike, uh, Randy, Mehorada, good morning coach. Inside po kay Bicor. Good morning sa wife ko, Edna, and to my daughter, Nina. Good morning sa inyo. Let's check out Bicor's chart in a while. Okay? Uh, let me just write them down. And nandiyan na si Vicor. Edwin, thank you. Isabella, my deepest sympathy. Thank you so much po. Enrico, Alvin, thank you. Dave, guapo. Joel, Igares, thank you po. Uh, John Cipriano, Yong, Albert, um, may her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Mike, Mike Steen, sorry to bear. Thank you. Uh, Jorvik, um, ang, um, and thank you kahit nandiyan ka sa ganyang sitwasyon ngayon, nag-live stream ka pa rin. Happy to help. Emmanuel Butak. Sir, pwede na ba? Test by kay Web. Yeah, si Web has been showing a good bounce. Nga lang, um, ya yeah, amura ni ni Web ngayon eh. If you're into Web, ayan, si Web, mahirap ngayon, right? Um, maganda yung pinapakita ni Web ngayon. Um, may magandang bounce. We have a good divergence. You can test it out. Mura na si Web eh. Yun yung mga magandang paglaruan. Ah, pakamura ni Web. You can test it and then if in case it fails, just cut your losses, okay? So, yun lang. So, web, yes, definitely is good. Hindi ko lang muna siya ni-recommend kasi uh, downtrend pa yung nakikita ko. Eh. But there's divergence already. I'm just waiting for web's annual report para talaga mag magkaroon ako ng conviction to recommend web. I don't want to recommend web right now, even if I'm in it. Gusto ko makita muna mag-uptrend siya before ko i-recommend. Ire kasi medyo mabigat talaga yung sentiments kay web. Eh. So, I can't really recommend it as the moment. Gehien Penaloga, uh, Sir Lloyd, my buntag, MB. Alright, um, Metro, um, MB, Gio. So, Gio, nirecommend ko yan noon, eh. Diba, nung nag-support siya, and then umakit na ngayon. So, congratulations. So, nga pumasok kay Gio. PHA, CHP, ECP. Alright, MB. Si PHA, nag-open ako ng position kay PHA. Alright, um, kasi nasa piso na siya, eh. Alright? So, hopefully it sustains, right? May, may support kasi kay PHA sa piso. Um, Nag-test buy ako kahapon kay PHA. Um, hopefully it bounces today. Um, hindi ko lang siya ni-recommend today because we are not seeing a green yet kay PHA. Look at this right here. This is the chart of PHA. Um, there is a good support here. Dito natin siya nakita. 
um, pumasok. So my strategy here kay PHAS, I just test by yesterday since that's a support right there. Hopefully it sustains. If it doesn't sustain, I'm just plan planning to buy more even further down. Kasi overall, napakaganda ng ginagawa ni PHA ngayon. So this is still very cheap for PHA. So I'm just gonna be buying more because I know PHA is still gonna go up again in the future. So uh, test buy lang ako dito. Hopefully I'm right. Just in case it goes down, just I'm just gonna be buying more. right? Because I know PHA is gonna go up. right? So PHA po, um, I still wanna recommend it ngayon. Um, but I haven't seen the green yet, so kaya wala po siya sa lista ko ngayon. Uh, Jan, Dan, Real, Tinay, Morning, Meg, and MPI. Um, thank you, King, Bakay. Alright, I'll write down these two muna. Uh, Cecil, Llorente, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Fernando, Lauzon, Morning, Coach. Ano kaya pwedeng gawin sa eToro account ko? Coach, kasi di pa rin ako makapag-deposit ng funds. Ayaw kasi mag-process ng debit card ko dito the present location so ko sa Caribbean Island. Alright, um, ang debit card kasi, um, karamihan ng mga debit cards, number one, may limit yan, 10,000 pesos lang per transaction. Try mo muna with lower amount, baka $1,000 ang linalagay mo, tapos $1,000 or more than 10,000 kaya nag-fail. Number two, check if your credit card is available for international transactions. Ayan, so yun po yung dalawang major causes po na kaya hindi ko magana ang debit card, right? And make sure your debit card is MasterCard Visa para ma-count po siya for international transactions talaga, right? So, please check it out if wala talaga. Um, ayun, um, look for credit card. Meron tayong mga prepaid credit cards po na pwedeng gamitin. Um, you can use PayPal, right? I-link mo lang yung debit card mo sa PayPal mo. And then, gamitin mo yung PayPal mo pang load. I mean, the PayPal and then your debit card to load up your PayPal tapos PayPal na ilalagay mo kay ano kay eToro right Jose Tomondong morning coach sock tea and green right guys um, as you mature you will realize na napakalaki po ng tulong ng credit card right so I am a user of a credit card um, yun nga lang I have to, you have to learn to use it um, you have to learn to use it uh, what they call this responsibly right and the credit card napakaganda po kasi it saves up time especially if busy na kayo and your time is very valuable you don't have to go to lines para po magbayad ng mga bills lahat po ng bills namin nakalink na po sa credit card so yung credit card na lang ang magbabayad automatically and then magka-fund transfer lang kami sa debit ko uh, sa credit card with my bank then that's it wala na akong pila-pila sa bills any in any way so it's very helpful if you know how to use it right very convenient for you and opportunities like this like eToro especially now that we're living in the di digital age right transactions um credit card is very useful right so i will recommend you get credit card pero please po use it responsibly kasi yung mga tao si karamihan especially karamihan ng mga pinoy pag may credit card um eto sakit ng karamihan ng mga pinoy eh. they think loan is an opportunity Right, so <laughs> pag kaya, kung kaya lang mutang utang o to utang kaya may credit card yan gagastos sen. Right, so just be responsible with that. But if you think you're not yet ready, then wag muna. Uh, a prepaid credit card will be useful for you. Right, but I tell you guys, if you can, alamin takot sa credit card. Okay, matakot. Right, as long as you know how to use it properly. Basta lang po ang pinakatat tinatatakutan yun dapat ang sarili niyo wag ang credit card. Dapat marunong kayo mag-control ng gastos ninyo. Once you are, are that at in that level, if you're financially, what they call this, mature at that level, credit card is very useful for you. Alright? Hill Albuero, um, good morning sir, watching from Singapore. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Jevy, LP Dang, good morning sir Lloyd. Insights po kay ABBA, Bloom, and MB. Alright, I'll write these down. Kamustahin natin. Wala pa ako nakita mga buy signal sa kanila. Dalawa nga lang yung recommendations ko for today. CPG and VUL. So, let's check it out later on. Lisa, Olona, my condolence. Thank you so much. STV Trader, good morning. ISM and IRC, ATN. Si Bull, ang laki ng drop kahapon. Eh. So, we'll talk about that also because I received a message yesterday. Tatanong siya anong nangyari kay Bull. Anong dapat niyang gawin? Eh, 3D print with condolence. Thank you so much. Green po for long term. Okay ba? Yes, okay naman si Green. It's been doing well lately. And so, okay naman si Green. Talaga. Edgar Dugalang LSC po. Please. Alright. Lepanto. No, not Lepanto. Um, Lorenzo Shipping. Alright. 
pinaglaruan uh, to yun ano, ng mga chupitero eh. So, apaging. Lara, uh, hi Sir Lloyd, good morning. Sir, I have read sa isang FB post saying na huwag bibili ng Now Corp kasi babalik sa dating price noong 2015. What's in your insights on this? Um, apaging Lara, very good question. Number one, rule of a trader. Tinuturo ko po ito sa seminar. No one can predict the market. No one can predict the market. Mo maring nananakot lang yun siya. How? What is his basis na ba, dadating da, babalik sa price on 2015 and now is doing well. Maganda naman yung kita niya. So meaning the company is increasing. So we can't really tell, right? No one can predict the market. If it happens, then if you're an investor ka now, then good. That's your opportunity to buy more, di ba? So um, my point is, wala pong mahuhula. Right, wala pong makakahula ng market. If it goes down, act accordingly lang. Um, set your cut losses pag ganun, right? So, konti ingat lang po. Um, Edgardo Galang LSE. All right, I'll write that down. Thank you so much, Edgardo. Um, Lawrence Reyes, hi Lloyd's Insights po kay MPI, ISM, and Bcor. Nasulat na natin yung mga yan. Joy P, good morning, sir. VLL is in my picks for today. So, I'm recommending that. Joy, Bernadette, morning, SSI po. All right, SSI. Um, MPI from Ems, uh, it's 8.39. So, hello, good morning, sir. From Mulhong, Waminal, thank you so much. Uh, pacheck po ng CPG, it's in my picks for today. Irene Carino, more condolences. Pacheck po kay Primex and Bloom, thank you so much, Irene. Alright, these down. Um, ayan. Um, GB, good morning, sir Lloyd. What's your insights on CPG? Back to up trend na po ba ito ulit? Yes, I think it is. So, so far, so good. Ang ganda yung back, um, pullback ni CPG. So, we can test out the NA20, alright? Maxim, oh, oh, thank you. John, Dan, Real, T9, sir, pa-request po pa, Bati, sa maganda kong asawa. Nanonood ngayon, Pearly Ann Arellano. And good morning sa inyo, John and Pearly Ann. Good morning to your family. Burnstorm TV Gaming, good morning, sir. Maganda po bang bumili ng BPI? Bullish, exaggerated, divergence po ba? Alright, hindi ko napansin yan, ha? Let me check it out. Alright, si BPI, BPI. Right, um, Edgardo, sir, condolence po. Thank you. Um, thank you po sa live streaming. Ang laking tulong po. God bless. LSC and Insights, please. Thank you so much din. Um, nasulat na natin si LSC. Daanan natin yan mamaya. PSB po and PIP po. Sir, si PIP is already there. Kamusta yun natin? Si PIP is sustaining the support naman. Eh. So, hopefully, um, we are gonna be able to, uh, hopefully, P, uh, PIP support is gonna uh, hold. Jay Mendiola, thank you so much. Alright, Sec B naman po, sir. Thanks. Alright, Sec B. Let's check out Sec B. Sec B. Alright, Nico Manga, I used my MBT debit card to fund my eToro. Napakabilis and easy. FYI lang po. That's good. Oh, Metrobank debit card, pwede naman. Alright, so yun lang, yun nga lang. Um, baka kasi, ang debit card ninyo, may 10k limit per transaction. So, liitan nyo lang muna. Try with 500. If it goes through, then add another 500. Pwede naman ganun. LV Aquino, good morning. Insights po kay ECP, MRC, ATN, Alcotel, PHA. Um, right, let's write these down. Sana madaanan pa natin if we still have time. I think we're gonna have enough time naman for today. Uh, PHA. Ah, nasulat na yun si PHA. So, I'll stop with Tel. Si Tel naman, medyo mataas na eh. Ang hirap habulin ni Tel. Kaya, hindi ko na na-recommend, right? Um, full from Bernal. Okay, daanan natin yan. Right, asa na yun? Bumagsak bigla. Oh, I can't find, um, I can't find the la last comment. Um, Ayun, from Reynaldo de Jesus. Sir Lloyd, ba pag nag-reset ka po ng position sa eToro, makapi trading ba ulit? Di kasi ako nakakapi sa new positions nyo. Yes, it should be, you should be able to copy it now. Um, Try to stop copying me and then copy me again. Wala naman charges yan. And then copy me again and then check nyo po. Make sure you have the um, copy open trades check. Alright? Emir Cristobal Insights po sa Tel. Thank you. Uh, we'll check that out. Wealth Gainer, thank you so much. Uh, sa condolences. GCPZ. Sir, what happened to Vol? Market happened to Vol. <laughs> market lang yan. You can't really tell what will happen to the market. Bumagsak siya. We'll talk about that. Sige, una natin pag-usapan yan later. Si Vol. Gio Ambas, good morning, sir. Morning, sir. From Paulo Drew. Um, CHP, MBT. Alright. So, let's check it out. 
Alright. Uh, Kathy, Kat, thank you. And Mark, good morning. So, web naman. Thank you. Uh, Pag-usapan natin yan. <coughs> Joel, Lilo, thank you. Gemma, Domingo. So, in insights po kay Pal, PHA, and CHP at CPG. Alright, we've already written that. LV, thank you. Good morning, Val, Flora. Um, how about C and ATN? Um, Ed, kamusta natin si C? Alright. <clears throat> Emir Cristobal, Tel, medyo mataas na si Tel. Um, Val, Flora, thank you. Erwin, good morning. CLI po, kamusta natin si Cebu Land Masters. So this is a company that's been doing well. Right? So, ang ginagawa ko ay CLI is nagbobodega lang eh. Condolence Sir Lloyd, GU and Tugs, please. Thank you. Kamusta natin si Tugs? Uy, si Tugs, hindi ko pa nakakamusta. Tugs. Um, Ed. Uh, thank you, Ed Duque, Jack Villanueva. Sir, bababa na po ba si Tel? I can't really tell if Tel is gonna go down, right? No one can tell if Tel is gonna go down. Hopefully it does kasi I wanna buy more. Right now, nasa taas pa si Tel, eh. hirap ako mag-buy more. So, hopefully bumaba. No one can tell really. If ever hindi tayo bigyan ng opportunity ng pullback, muna, ngayon, uh, that's okay kasi nakapag-test buy na tayo sa baba. Um, if it gives us an opportunity on a pullback, then that would be very good. But still, yun nga lang, the market will do what it wants to do. If hindi tayo bibigyan ng pullback, then sadly, hindi na tayo makakapag-buy more. Antayin natin pa mo yung pullback niya. Gio Ambas, thank you so much. Lisa Olona, sir, better to fund eToro using PayPal. Sa akin kasi malaki charge ng credit card. Actually, walang charge si credit card. It's just that. Ang laki lang ng exchange rate siguro ng bank ninyo. Right, yun lang ang problema. Kasi do, the transaction is in dollars. Um, the exchange rate will be depending on your bank's uh, exchange rate. Yun lang. Wala po siyang charge actually. Pinakamaganda nga ang credit card kasi walang charges eh. Si PayPal may charges para ka nagpa, nagpera padala niyan eh. So if ever you withdraw funds from PayPal, may charges yan. Tapos pa, pa, tapos pa yung exchange rate ni PayPal. So that's gonna be... Uh, problem. So, pinakamaganda ang credit card actually. Lorenzo Basilio, good morning Sir Lloyd, MBT and ISM po sir. Right, nasulat na po yan. Zenaida Karunungan, um, condolence, thank you. Abner, coach pa insights naman, training game plan ko, sell half ang uh, Ali, hold SSI, URC, more, buy more. We'll console, right, these down from Abner Especio. Kamustahin natin. Right, hopefully madaanan pa natin Abner ha. Right, so, We'll go now to my picks for today. We want to thank our sponsors first, 2 Trade Asia, 2 tradeasiacom If you're looking for a good broker, mobilis, reliable, and has a mobile app, 2 Trade Asia will be good for you. Kasi you can trade on the go. That's very important for me. Kasi lumalabas ako lagi. I need to trade even if I'm outside. So, mababenta ko po yung stocks ko. At makakabili ako ng stocks even if I'm outside. So, that's very helpful. Check out 2TradeAsia, 2TradeAsia.com. At saka eToro, guys. eToro has been... So far, so good. Itoro, right? Um, our um statistics. Ato po yung performance ko for the past few months. Um, we nagstick po tayo from December, right? December, January, February, and now we're running at five point ninety nine percent for this month. So yung mga copy trade sa akin nagkain na ng six month for this month. So that's very good, right, guys? Um, itoro. Ako na po mag-trade para sa inyo. You can diversify. If gusto niyo po matuto mag-trade, you can. And then, you can also also set a few aside, a uh, few um, peso aside. And then, lagyan niyo lang po sa copy trade. But at least, it's about investment. Diba? It's, this is about working smartly. Right? Earning smartly. Wala po kayong ginagawa dito sa eToro. Right? All you did was copy trade me. Ako na po nag-trade para sa inyo. So, check it out. Create an eToro using my link at the video description. That is gonna be a very big help for me. If ever gumawa kayo ng account, hindi gamit ang link ko, or your friends created an account, hindi gamit ang link ko, please send me a message and let me know their username para malink po natin under sa atin. Sayang po yung referral, right? Um, na makatulong na yan sa um, the daily grind and financial freedom 101 uh, for the everyday na mga na, na live natin. Right? So, yan. Um, speaking of strategy, ang ginagawa kong strategy dito sa international market is still the same as my strategy sa Philippines stock market. Yun nga lang, ang ganda sa international market is merong stop loss. So, pwede na ako matulog pag nakapasok na ako na position. Hindi ko na kailangan bantayan. Meron nyo siya auto to take profits. So, that's gonna be good for you also. Um, meron ding short selling. So, ang dami pong opportunity dito sa international market. So, that's why I'm um, getting more aggressive here in ano, in 
the international market. So, yan po, create an eToro using mining. Sayang po ang volume, sayang po opportunity ng international market. Right? And laki pera dumadaloy doon, tas hindi natin, we're not, we're not taking a piece of that pie. Tikman naman natin, maglagay lang kayo ng konting pera. Right? You can start with just $200 if you want to uh, start small. Right? So, eToro, create an eToro account using mining. So, my picks for today, dalawa lang. Unahin natin to. Si CPG and VLL. Ayan po ang dalawa. Unahin natin si CPG. Pakita ko po sa inyo yung um, what do you call this? Yung technical analysis niya. Look at that. CPG um, what do you call this? Um, upper bond ban trigger. Saan po siya nag-bounce? This is why I love MA20. Perfect bounce at MA20 at nagtuloy-tuloy na siya. So ngayon, sa mga conservative players na nag-aabang talaga ng green, this is your opportunity. Um, this is medyo high risk lang ha. Um, 365 na siya ngayon away from support. So, medyo malayo yun yung support nyo. So, try to bargain if you can bargain around 5.50. But this is a good sign already for CPG. Um, tuloy pa po ang uptrend niya. I think it is gonna still gonna go up. Ganda kasi na earnings sa CPG last year. Annual earnings, 72% compared to last year. This is what I have been talking to you about nung nirecommend ko si CPG. Dito, I told you, magbodega kay CPG, keep buying the dips. And then there it is, uptrend na siya. This is gonna be a very good recovery from CPG. Imagine that, ilang presyo ni CPG noon. Umabot pa siya ng apat na piso. <coughs> Right? Um, kung, uh, kung gusto natin abutin yung apat na piso na yan, that is how many thousand percentage away? <coughs> 962% kung umabot man dyan. But I'm not, we're not that, um, we don't, we're <laughs> masyado mataas na yan. Siguro one lang makapag-recover siya ng ganito up to um, 81%. That's still a very big win for us, right? So right now, napaka-cheap pa rin ni CPG. Alright, so pwede po siya po, um, habulin. I'm not seeing any negative movements anyway. So, pati RSI niya uptrend. So, CPG, we can test that out. Just in case mali tayo, you can always cut your losses. Hindi, ko naman, hindi naman tayo manguhula na masasabi natin magtuloy-tuloy yan. It's just that the price action is telling us na nag-bounce na siya and the pullback is healthy. So, we can test that out. Hopefully, we are right. If we're right, then good. We're gonna be gaining. If we're wrong, then just cut your losses. VLL. Right, good, um, very good ano, bounce on this level right here sa support niya. Nag-confirm na siya. So, that's a good entry for VLL. Gamitin niyo lang po itong support niya as your support for VLL. Those are my only two picks for today. Market was not that good yesterday. Ang mga nagliliparan, ang mga pinaglalaroan na stocks ng mga basura. Um, si Gio, though, I recommend the Gio here. Re remember, nag-recommend tayo kay Gio dyan. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Gio. to si LSC, guys. Why I, why I always tell you, wag po kayong mag hahabol dyan sa taas. Alright? Ang daming naipit kay LSC. Now, what is, gonna, what is LSC gonna do today? We don't know. If it's gonna go back down or if it's continu gonna continue to go up, we don't really know. Right? That's the problem here. Right? If hindi kayo momentum trader, dito pa nga lang, da, uh, dito pa nga lang, this is a good sign. Alam natin na pa-uptrend na siya. Right? We haven't constricted Bollinger Bands. Turo ko sa inyo lagi. Pag hindi nyo nahuli yan, at this level right here, this is already out of position. So, the only players here should be, um, what they call this, uh, ang dapat naglalaro dito sa taas is momentum traders na lang. If you don't know how to momentum trade, how to day trade, pag hinabol nyo yan, look at that. Naipit lang kayo. So, make sure you know what you're doing. Right? I don't want to recommend as LSC. So that's already out of position, right? Kung gusto nyo maipit, bahala kayo. Hindi nyo alam ginagawa ninyo. If you're watching this video, most probably you're a newbie at hindi, pa, hindi pa kayo marunong mag momentum trade, huwag nyo munang papasok niyan. So if gusto nyo po matuto ng trading talaga, join my seminar. I have a seminar for uh, this Saturday and Sunday, right? Um, eight, uh, nine in the morning. Send me a message if you wanna join that para po maturuan ko po kayo Nang, uh, nang how to trade. This is the strategy I've been using in the international market and at least doon, public yung statistics ko, yung performance ko, makikita nyo naman po. Send me a message if you want to learn that, right? T, uh, no, not T. Um, next, dito is meron na tayong mga questions si Vul. Unahin natin si Vulcan. Ano daw nangyari kay Vulcan? Right, so si Vulcan, major drop yesterday, very big volume and sell out. When it, hap when it broke the support, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo guys, right? 
um, pag nag-break ng support, noong nangyayari pa ito, right, um, you should have, when your cut loss was hit, for example, this one right here, from this point to this point, the cut loss is 3.0, so around 1.20. Na hit na yung 1.20 na cut loss during this support break, di ba? Nung nag-break ang support, cut loss should have been 120. Eh, benta nyo na. Kahit na may makita kayong bounce, kaya eto yung mga tao nga, hindi nila kinat loss. Uy, at around 119, nag-recover 1.23. Yes. Yes, nag-recover to 123. But look at what happened the next day. ba? Diba? This is the reason why I always want you guys to cut your losses. Cut loss po. Right? Cut loss po, guys. Please. Kasi, alam mo yan. Um, sige, uh, full screen ko muna para intense. I really wanna teach this. Ito yung, men, uh, ito yung trader mentality kasi. Yes, I know. Dalawa, dalawa lang kasi yan. Pag nahit yung cut loss ninyo, um, there are two thoughts uh, that will happen to you. But it's just that in newbies kasi, ang nag-iiral na ngayon is emotions during this point. If you lose money, especially money that's big, if malaking linagay nyo dito, whenever your cut loss is hit, usually malaking amount yan. Pag malaking amount, emotion takes over. Uh, and because of the pain sa panginayan sa pera, your emotion is gonna tell you not to cut loss. Why? Because of this question, what if mag-bounce? Right? Baka mag-bounce eh. Diba? So, yun yung inisip natin. So, hindi ko mo na yung loss, baka mag-bounce. Right? Yes, it happens. And yes, masakit po mag loss. Right? Masakit mag loss and then seeing it na mag-bounce lang. Right? Masakit po yan. Is, sana hindi ako nag-cut loss. Diba? Even me, nang, nang hinayang ako dun sa ano, yung sa, sa, sa oil. Na-pressure kasi ako dun sa mga nagko-comment kasi bumabagsak ang pressure ni oil. People were pressuring me na, Sir Lloyd, saan ka ba mag-cut loss ka na ba? Right. Uh, hindi ko na-cut loss. So, uh, at around $15, again, binenta ko na lang. Umabot ng 60 pesos na naman si oil. So, umakit naman sana. So, sayang. Yeah, masakit po. My point is, masakit mag, uh, ma makita yung stock na Pagbenta mo, umaksa ka naman makyat. Like this one right here. Kung nagbenta ka around, around 1.22, cut loss mo, 1.21. Tapos nagbounce, manginayang ka. Yes, totoo. Masakit makita ang stock. Masakit uh, makita na pagbenta mo, magbabounce. But, right? There's a flip side to the coin. That's one side, maka magbounce. The second side is, baka bumulusok palalo. Which is, we don't know. We don't know if it's gonna bounce or we don't know if it's gonna fall further down. Dalawa lang naman pwede mangyari, di ba? Tatlo actually, kung magsa sideways. But, baka mag-bounce and baka mulusok pa baba. Now, a trader's, ito yung sinasabi ko lagi, a trader's biggest concern in trading is not to lose big. I already showed this to you before. Bakit we don't allow ourselves to lose big? Kasi, if we, if we just eliminate the possibility of losing big, your port is gonna lean on the winning side already bigger concern we have, the bigger question is, what if bumulusok pa lalo? And what if pag bulusok, hindi na natin sa alam sa anong bottom, patay tayo dan. Right? So, that's the biggest concern of a trader. Right? So, mas malaki pa siya, it is a more pressing matter than the thought na baka ma-bounce. Kung mag-bounce then, okay lang. Since anyways, um, hindi at least maliit lang ang loss natin kaysa lumaki pa yan. Right? Iwasan nyo pong lumaki ang losses ninyo. That's why you have to always cut your losses. So here, this is a perfect example. Nung nahit na yung cut loss nyo dapat, dapat nag-cut loss na kayo. And then there it is, bumulusok pa baba. We don't really know where this is gonna go right now. Right? This is a bullish, um, this is a bearish signal right here. Nalaki ng volume ng selling. Right? So most probably, babagsak pa yan. Right? So we don't really know where this is gonna go today. Ang problema kasi kay Vul, I wanna, I wanna discuss this. Ang problema kay Vul is, First up, yung climb niya was speculative, right? This climb right here was not substantiated, right? There's a speculation na si Vol magiging backdoor ni... Sino ba yun? Yung sa... I forgot the telco. So, magiging backdoor sila, which is a third, third telco contender then. So, third telco hype na naman to. It's, uh... uh it was speculative yung growth niya. So, wala na yung speculation, hindi na sila magiging third telco, though magbabackdoor pa rin yung company na yun. And this company, we don't know the fundamentals of that company yet. 
plus it's they're not gonna be the third telco so wala na pong laman yung climb niya so bumalik na siya sa levels niya dapat tulad ni now nangyari kay now after the speculation na wala na speculative growth niya kasi hindi na maging third telco so bumalik na naman si now sa original trading prices niya so it's gonna be happening here to Vulcan also we don't have uh, this growth right here overall growth niya tanawin ko lang to overall growth niya is unsubstantiated itong akya na ito so most probably vul is gonna go back to its original levels right here so malayo layo pa po yan right yun na yung nangyayari kay vul i don't want to recommend full because hindi natin alam ang fundamentals hindi natin hindi, tsaka hindi siya maging third telco um contrary to ism hindi natin alam ni yung fundamentals ni udena yet they haven't been uh, publishing their uh, performance to the public yet but the third telco projects is sure naman yun right so yun kaibahan nila dito si Vulcan wala eh wala um this climb was really the thought na mag apply sila for the third telco but nawala na yun so it's gonna go back to its original level so please stay away from please cut your losses lang po right ganun lang po talaga if our hunch is wrong um sorry check mic na problema sa microphone so check mic 1, 2 wala akong marinig sorry, check mic 1, 2 can't hear myself. Sorry, check mic. One, two. Hindi naman malog ang mic. Can't hear myself. Alright, so let me just refresh my, my line. Sorry, okay? check mic. One, two. One moment. Hindi naman malog ang mic. Can't hear myself. Alright, so let me just refresh my, my line. Sorry, okay? check mic. Check mic. How about now? Let's test it out. 